In this video we'll walk you through troubleshooting the extension in case you've encountered any issues. If you get lost anywhere or need any help just refer back to this video to get you going. First, make sure to use the ZXP installer we linked to in the instructions page. It's ZXP by AE Scripts. Do not use this one from ZXP or the extension won't install properly. After you installed into ZXP installer, open up Premiere Pro. What you're going to do is go to Window, Extension, 640 Extension, and then the extension window will pop up. Now this may take a little while on first startup, but it's okay, it will pop up. And if it doesn't pop up, then just close panel and relaunch the extension. Just to make sure that everything is installed fine let's do a factory reset. This isn't necessary, but I highly recommend you to click this button just to make sure that everything installed properly. Once you reset, relaunch the extension. Once again this may take a minute to load up especially after a factory reset. This next step is crucial for Mac users, but PC users can skip this step. Follow these instructions, it will open up security preferences automatically. Once you accept accessibility for Adobe Premiere Pro, click Next. Now accept automation for Premiere Pro. Once you do that click Finish and then we can relaunch the extension. Before signing in make sure to click Login with your mouse, because if you click Enter with your keyboard it will keep spinning forever. Premiere thinks that you're trying to render the clips on your timeline instead of actually signing in. If you get stuck in this forever loop loading screen just close the panel and relaunch. If you log in the extension and see missing assets, or effects not loading this is most likely a storage space issue and the extension didn't install properly. Before installing the extension we require to have at least 30G of free space and be on the latest version of Premiere Pro so that the assets properly load in. If you encounter this problem even after factory resetting the extension, uninstall the extension in ZXP and reinstall it. Make sure to factory reset again after opening. If you want to use any overlays, just double click and it automatically apply to your footage with the blend mode. Now if you're trying to use a diffusion filter, duplicate your footage. Click on the footage on top and double click the diffusion you'd like to apply. Here you have some fish eyes for example. The way you apply those is by double clicking on the fisheye and then go to essential graphics panel, click replace from finder. Choose your footage, click open and now the fisheye effect applies to your footage. Now let's say you want an iPhone pop up. Double click on the effect, click replace from finder and put anything you want the phone to display. In here you can adjust scale, position and rotation. If you play it back it will play anything that's in the phone. Now we move over to text presets let's say you want to add this. Double click it and it applies. You might notice that the font is missing. Just click over here to download missing fonts and download the fonts. For this example we're going to use Canit and there you go. Just to show you again we're going to double click another text presets, and there you go. Now let's show you how to apply transitions. Line up your marker in between the two clips you want, double click on the desired preset. It's going to open a new sequence and automatically apply it to your sequence and close the one it created. If you have your quality set to a quarter, you might see these squares. That's okay, because you're rendering in quarter quality. The same goes for half quality, it will still look weird, but that won't apply to the final export. If you set it to full quality and or render you will see the actual effect take place. If you still need helping troubleshoot please email us at 640studio at gmail.com and we'll help you out. 